Your stove pipes require a damper to be installed to the lowest section before they are installed on the stove. Begin by removing the plastic film on all sections of the stainless steel pipe. Make a mark 12 inches from the non-crimped edge of the pipe you want to install the damper into. We recommend this mark be a quarter of the way around the pipe from the welded side so that the damper's rod does not pierce it in the process. Remove the damper's rod by pushing the handle toward the damper and twisting it so that the rod can separate from the damper plate. Shown here, there are two twists used in order to guide the rod from the plate. Push the handle spring to the side of the triangle. The pointed end of the rod should be on the mark you made on the pipe. Holding this in place, use a hammer to drive the rod into the pipe just enough to make a dent. This dent will be used to drill the first hole for the damper. We recommend using a multi-purpose oil to help in the drilling process. Use a couple drops on the spot before proceeding. Once you have drilled your hole, set the rod into it while feeding it back into the damper plate inside the pipe. Position it so that the plate is perpendicular to the wall of the pipe and continue feeding the rod into the damper plate until the point meets the other side of the pipe wall. Using the hammer again, hit the handle so that you will drive the rod point making another dent in the pipe. The dent should be enough to notice once you turn the pipe over. Remove the rod and damper plate from the pipe and turn the pipe over to observe the dent you made from the last step. Using the same technique with the rod and hammer, drive the dent back into the pipe so that you can form a dimple enough to steadily drill another hole through it. You should now have two holes directly across from one another on the pipe. Position the damper and the rod through to secure it in place. Return the handle spring back to its original position. Your chimney cap is a quick installation to your highest section of pipe for your stove. Bend the two hold tabs out so that the included bolt can pass through both of them. Once you have positioned the cap on the crimped end of the stovepipe, feed the bolt through both holes and secure it with the nut. 